Nestled amongst the trees across the road from the NUS campus, Clementi Woods Park is home to many furry, excitable rodents familiar to many of us, plantain squirrels. The sight of these creatures almost never fail to incite squeals of delight from the average pedestrian, Caloscurus notatus. Its genus, Caloscurus, means beautiful squirrel. And indeed they are, a brown furry body contrasted by an orange belly with two cream and black stripes across its flanks, not to mention its bushy tail as long as its body. Plantain squirrels are omnivorous and feed on fruits and insects. They are also highly adaptable and found in many man-made habitats, making them charismatic fauna in parks, but also agricultural pests in oil palm and cocoa plantations in Malaysia and neighboring regions. Plantain squirrels forage among the undergrowth and canopy of leaves and branches. They are equipped with good eyesight to spot food and predators alike, sharp claws to hold onto or run along branches, and use their long furry tails for counterbalance as they literally bounce across the grass, between branches and around each other. They are also diurnal animals, displaying a bimodal activity pattern that peaks at dawn and towards dusk. These urban squirrels in local parks are well adapted to their urban environments. A frequent disturbance is that of grass cutting. They avoid the source of the irritable noise, but some also go on to forage as though nothing out of the ordinary were happening. Another interesting note is the squirrel's familiarity with people feeding them. Evidence from this is a tray of peanuts placed across the fork of a tree trunk where the squirrels frequently visit. They were also observed to do a characteristic tail flicking accompanied by a click sound. Whether this behaviour is a form of squirrel to squirrel communication or a response to human presence saying don't come too near remains unknown. Squirrel tails move about in a rhythmic manner when they forage or travel from one tree to another. When an individual encounters another, tail flicks are clearly for communication, as seen in these two individuals having a face-off. They use a variety of ways to communicate, such as odors, vocalization, postures, and tail movements. Tail positions may also show their dominant or subordinate status amongst each other. By the look of things, urbanized plantain squirrels in parks such as the Clementi Woods Park are well adapted to coexist alongside us people despite the managed habitat and frequent human travel. So, whether these tail flicks are merely a form of communication or also a remnant of an adaptation from their previous ancestors remains a mystery for us to find out.